Hey everyone, it's Kim from Tranquil Dreams. Um, today I'm here to uh, participate in um, Movie Rob and Movie Reviews 101's Stephen King Blogathon. Um, mine, I'm going to be talking about the comparison between the carries. So I did um, the so I did the book uh, Carrie from Stephen King, his debut novel. And um, compare that with the 1976 Brian De Palma adaptation. And then compare that also to the 2013 remake of Carrie. So, um, just a little recap of the story in case you don't know. So, Carrie is pretty much an oddball girl who is bullied at school and she's also bullied at home by her mother, who is very, very, very religious. And this is also one of the reasons why she's um, bullied at school because she has uh, she doesn't know a lot and she just kind of and she's not very pretty and all these things cause her to be neglected and bullied pretty much. So um, when a trick goes bad and due to certain events that happen, she just breaks out and her the telepathic abilities that she has just breaks loose and she wreaks havoc on the town. So the book was really really good. Um, it was the first Stephen King book I've ever read which is kind of surprising for a lot of people but uh, reading the first novel of Stephen King was really a good start because it was a page turner and it was amazing just the creativeness of how he set up the story. It's a little sad that the the movies couldn't work it out the same way because it would have been an interesting setup to see as well where it was based on the survivors story and then flashing back to just what exactly happened that night um, jumping before um, from before till after the world the town is just destroyed and afterwards as people are recapping the situation what they felt so um, the movies themselves each also have their own um, qualities, which are really good. Um, they each stay true to the novel in a certain way. And uh, the casting is good, the acting is good, um, the atmosphere was done well. And in general, I enjoyed both of them quite a bit. Uh, they, they both had their own uh, effects. Of course, the 1976 one had effects and, and campiness to it because it's it's just from 1970s. The effects aren't comparable to CGI and whatnot that we have in the modern age now. So I guess that brings us to the first thing that I'd like to compare is that a lot of people would bring up that the 2013 one, the 1976 one, which we pretty much can say is similar to the book because it, the book was also in 1970s, um, that the modernization of it in the 2013 version, is that a big deal? Uh, for me, it wasn't because I feel that bullying is the main theme there, and bullying is still relevant in the society now, especially now when it's coming back to be a really big part of what we discuss, especially when we talk to talk about kids and school and all that stuff. We see it in the media all the time, so that actually makes a lot of sense for it to be modernized in the 2013 version because it. You set it in a modern day and you use YouTube and Twitter and all those social media and it, it works because that's how we distribute and it relate to the younger generation who can go see this movie to to really like be able to look into it and see what it is. Uh, I didn't even think it affected the movie all that much. Um, I guess the second thing is the second comparison I really want to look at which is a bigger thing and it was also the first thing that hit me was the physical appearance of Carrie and her mom. Uh, they're both supposed to be physically unappealing. I can't remember the exact description of her mom, which was something like the, it was like, it was pretty much like a train wreck of some sort or, of what, or whatever, you know, just something really bad. And Carrie was described as something like she was pretty chubby and she was, she was not you know, the image we see of the Carrie in the movies. You know, in both of them, Sissy Spatchek is pretty. She's really thin and she's very like, she, she's, she's a pretty lady, you know, um, but she does bring on a kind of creepy, quiet feeling, like a deep, deep, uh, hidden feeling that repressed 
person type of uh, anger that we can sense as the movie continues on and I think that that works well and it doesn't matter if the description matched or not although that did bother me a little because it makes it less believable that no one would take her out the prom and no one would like her just because she's she's associated with a crazy lady like her mom um, in the second in the 2013 remake we have Chloe Grace Moretz which can carry crazy really really well and when this movie came out I was I was thinking without even knowing the story really well that she would carry the role perfectly so I was pretty impressed with both of their roles um, but that is one of the differences and one of the main differences that bothered me just a little um, I think with that said the character development is the second thing that I want to talk about as a comparison um, just the relationship with her mom is different. In the 1976 one, it's it's drastically different because she portrays it better, where she is actually scared of her mom because her mom bullies her. In 2013, she's not. She just starts talking back to her mom. And she, it didn't seem like she was scared of her mom. It didn't seem like she was re repressed at home either. And that was the really situation where she was repressed both at home and at school. And, and then the second thing is the development of her telepathic powers, which were done better in the 2013 one, where we had two very similar scenes, but in the, in, the, in the newer one, we also got a chance to see her train herself a little in various, like, in a few scenes before the final showdown. In the terms of um, supporting actors, there was also a bit of difference, where we had the relationship of Tommy Ross and Sue Snell, with, um, the 1976 one was a little bit more skewed where Tommy Ross actually kind of felt like he was becoming a little romantic with Carrie whereas he's not supposed to so the 2013 does a better job in that sense where he's genuinely there to be her friend so for Billy Nolan the the big issue is that um, he didn't really have uh, like he's supposed to be kind of mentally unstable and it varies between the fact that uh, Chris Harkinson, which is the bully girl, the bullying girl, she's like, she controls him in the original, and that's also done better because this, in, in the remake, it's done better because Billy Nolan takes a heavier stand, where he is generally a little crazy, and he does end up taking, kind of like, subconsciously, like, subtly he's taking control, and Chris doesn't realize that, and in the second one, they let him take control and be the person who decides, who gives the idea of what trick to pull on Carrie. The last difference is in the ending, where um, where they really shuffle the events, and they take some of the events from previous that happened in the book, and they put it at the ending, they make the house kind of just abolish, and they make it really focus it around the house. But I feel that both of the endings aren't as strong as they should be. The remake is a little stronger because they actually um, link back to um, what the book did and had Sue Snell find Carrie after all the crazy that's happened. They don't blow up the town and they don't, they don't take these things where it's actually pretty important. I find that the last scene with um, her mom is one of the biggest scenes in the story and they kind of didn't do that properly. So. In general, I'm going to say that I really appreciated the remake a lot more because there was a lot more similarities to it and maybe it's because it's just newer so there was more chances for me to enjoy it and I really like appreciated what they were doing with the story and just maybe maybe it's just the fact that it was similar. Even if the characters that casted were further from what the book was saying, everyone carried the roles really well. I guess uh, but still, I mean, all of them were done really well, but uh, in the end, like, if I were to compare the book to which I enjoyed more, it'd definitely be the remake. I may be the minority, but, I mean, <laughs> you can try to convince me otherwise, right? Uh, so that's my comparison of um, the book against the two movies. Uh, thank you for listening, and hope you enjoyed. Bye!